you see what she's doing now? Yeah. She's going along the branches, mm -hmm. and one after the next, she's making tiny holes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But then she goes straight to another hole. Mm -hmm. She's checking to see if she can get some gum. But if she can't get any gum, she goes straight to the next hole. So she's testing the tree. But also, when she makes a hole, if she comes back tomorrow night, okay. or later in the night, uh -huh. that hole might start producing gum. So she's helping the tree to produce the gum for her to eat. Okay. So that's why you see her make 20 to 30 to 40 holes all at once. And that's why she moves all around the tree. Uh-huh. So she can get the food or the gum from the trees from the hole? Yeah. Okay. And it's one of the only primates uh -huh. that can make the, their own hole in the tree. Uh-huh. But if she goes to the other side, there's already one big hole. Mm -hmm. That's a natural hole in the tree, and she can spend a lot of time eating from that natural hole uh -huh, as uh -huh. well. Okay. She's coming down. Yeah, yeah. She's coming down. I feel really lucky she's going to go down that skinny trunk. Uh -huh. Oh, look, there she goes. Mm -hmm. Do you know this I is see, yeah. this is called bridging? Because uh -huh. that's amazing. She goes across. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so clear. Yeah. Because Loris just can't jump, yeah. so that's the oh she goes up. That's the only way that they can get across gaps because they can't jump. <laughs> because they not is they are not frog. Yeah, and that's probably why some people call them the slow Loris, but I think we both know they're not slow. Oh, I think she's seen something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's grabbed it. It's like what is that? It's bigger than her head. I think it. That's amazing. Yeah, it might it's be. It's amazing. Probably it might it's be a bird. Yeah, I've only seen birds in the Loris species, uh -huh. and I've seen them kill them in captivity, like lightning. But I've never seen this in the wild. This is uh -huh. really cool. Okay. Anna, why we have to use the red light? Well, have you ever watched Dolores in the yellow light or the white light and it actually gets a little bit afraid? Uh -huh, uh -huh. They, they can't see red light. Oh. And so we actually can see their behavior much more naturally. Uh -huh. And the white light can actually really hurt their eyes oh. and can even blind them over time. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to always use the red lights when watching Dolores. Okay. <laughs> 